to my channel. I have a <laughs> Nendroid here to unbox for you guys today. And I just want to say that this is probably, I haven't even taken out of the box yet, but obviously I've seen the stuff that comes with the figure and how like the figure looks in the prototype photos and whatnot. Um, and also I can see it through the box through the little window of the box. But this is probably one of the best Nendroids from what I'm seeing in terms of like ex the amount of accessories it comes with recently <laughs> because we all know that Good Smile Company has been, I don't know, lacking in quality and in in accessories that Nendroids come with. But this is <laughs> the Marin Kitagawa Nendroid. Can I just say really quick, because I keep like looking at this rather than the camera, I am obsessed with the packaging of this. I know it's like a typical Nendroid box and obviously it's got its like standard design, but like <laughs> look at look at the little stripes and the patterns and oh it's so cute. I this this packaging is everything to me. I'm a sucker for the pink kawaii type look the, oh, look at that look at the little pattern it's so cute also i have a favorite accessory that she does come with so i know i'm going to be having her hold that and i'll show you what it is in just a minute but make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section below and i was gonna say let's get started but i already took her out of the box i guess i'll start with showing you guys her face plates. So we have this winking face of hers. All of these face plates are so adorable. I love all of them. Uh, and then each face plate also has her piercings, which I appreciate. I'm glad they didn't uh, take any of that out. Cute. Her eyes are so cute. Oh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but on her cheeks there are these little like circles. They're like, I guess they're supposed to show that her skin is shining or whatnot. I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. And then she's got her eyeshadow on there. So cute. Okay. Um, moving on. We have this. I really love this face plate. Let me tell let me show it to you and then tell you why. But the reason why I love this one so much is because the little shine in her eyes has heart shapes and I'm a sucker for characters with like sparkly heart shaped eyes. I think it's so cute. And then her like eyelashes are more prominent. She's blushing, she's so cute. She's like puffing her mouth or her cheeks. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay, and then we have the last face plate, which is the default one but the default one is is super cute too so this is our queen bee with her default face on tell me she is not adorable i love her smile so much this is the same smile she has in the figure that i really want the scale figure of her i can't remember what what company it's from i want to say it's kotobukiya but i'm i it's probably wrong that's probably wrong but uh, I will put an image of it up here. Okay, so before I talk about um, what I like about this and what I think about this in Android, let's take a look at the other accessories she comes with. Uh, so first up, we have her mess of an omu rice. And if you can't really see what that says, it says go men or sorry in ketchup because she's not a perfect cook, clearly. <laughs> um, but okay, moving on. We have, I want to say, I can't remember what, the, oh, maybe it's a, a game, a poster, a manga? <laughs> no, it can't be a manga. I don't remember, but she has this of her, I know it's a game, but I don't know what this, I don't remember what this item really is supposed to be, because she's holding it, so it can't be a poster. I don't remember, oh, maybe it's a manga, I don't know. But it's of, oh, you guys are not going to be able to see that. Uh, but it is of her favorite game, I believe. <laughs> and honestly, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it. Oh, God. I mean, for this small of an item, there's so much. They fit, like, all the characters of that game she plays in there. And it's so impressive to me 
like you can oh the detailing is so like you even have like the title on there in the middle like i can't i wish you guys could see this that's like so impressive i think i think i think the name of this character was mm, actually let me not guess uh shizuku i think it was that she really likes and then she has this this is so impressive you guys i'm so impressed with this uh she has this little um cheetah print pink cheetah print and then when you turn it over it's a mirror that she holds uh, i'm not going to take this out of the plastic that it's, that's protecting it just because i'm not going to use it i know i'm not going to have her holding this um but it is it is re reflective and that is so neat that is so cool it's like a real mirror you guys that is like for a nendroid for something that small that's so impressive to me i can't i'm like speechless okay um next up is my favorite item that she comes with and that i think i'm definitely going to have her holding is this body pillow of again i think it's shizuku <laughs> i want to say it is uh, but of her favorite character and it's like it's real material it's real cushiony material and the print on there is so detailed i'm so stunned i'm literally so stunned that they they're able to do something like this and they did actually do something like this <laughs> i'm more impressed with the accessories than i am of the actual figure holy crap that is that is so cool what like i have never seen that in any nendroid not that i can remember at least like that is so cool or maybe it does happen but just not as often okay <laughs> moving on <laughs> okay and then for the hands she comes with a peace sign and she's got a bracelet on or maybe it was a scrunchie whatever uh she's got a ring on and she comes with an open hand which oh this hand is supposed to be holding her uh, body pil pillow and then she comes with obviously she comes with these two default hands where they're just to her side and then she comes with a hand that is supposed to hold her mirror or her manga poster um, game <laughs> now let's put her on her base pose her and talk about what i think about this nedroid okay so i have her in the pose that i want to put her in and keep her in um first things first i will say that i kind of wish when comparing uh, her in person and com to the actual prototype or the box i will say that i wish her hair was a little more saturated i don't know on the box it looks a little bit more saturated than it does in person and i i kind of feel like if it was a little more saturated it would match a little better with who she is because she's got this bubbly personality and she's always smiling she's always sparkling um and i just feel like if her her colors were a bit more bolder and and again more saturated it would match it it would match a little better if that makes any sense but i mean aside from that i think her paintwork is super clean i will say the, the the hardest thing about putting her together in this position was i don't know trying to get her to hold the pillow while also trying not to have it completely block her face or like at least her smile but <laughs> i managed to get it I, I was kind of going back and forth between whether i wanted to use the other face plate with her like eyes that are shining in heart shapes because i really like that one but i ended up going with this default face because even though it's a default face i think her smile is just so freaking cute to the point where i'm like it's it doesn't even look like a default face she's like grinning it's not even just like a normal regular like non-grinning smile i think that's what would make it look more like a default face but she's uh oh, she's sparkling she's so cute i do wish that we got like a grinning or a smiling one with the sparkling heart eyes but i appreciate this one nonetheless ah she's so cute she's so little and now i'm just thinking about how much i want the scale of her that i was talking about earlier and how cute they would look posed together ah she even has like you can even put her in the same pose well you can give her a peace sign 
which is what she's like posed as in the scale figure so they can like match oh that'd be so cute this makes me wonder if they're going to make one of gojo probably i i feel like they won't <laughs> just because she's like the main star of the show but who knows maybe if there's like a second season or whatever she is by far one of my favorite shoujo girls uh, and she's also very relatable uh, in fangirling over favorite characters and having hyper fixations and whatnot so but yeah that was the Marin Kitagawa Nendroid from My Dress Up Darling and by Good Smile Company I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know what you think in the comment section below also let me know in the comments which between all the modding figures that have come out so far let me know which modding figure is your favorite there's there's a few out there already so I, i'm really curious because i've seen back and forths of which ones are better are the best and which ones aren't uh so i'm really curious about your opinion and yeah with that i bid you adieu Thank you for watching. <laughs> I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.